What's going on guys, MOT here and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can increase mobile data speed on your Android phone. These steps are very easy to follow and feel free to share your results uh, using the comment section below. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is to install the 1.1.1.1 app on your phone. Uh, it's by Cloudflare and you can get it from Play Store. And once you have installed it, um, open it and um, it will show you as disconnected uh, if you're installing it for the first time and you need to enable it. So what actually happens when you enable is that instead of using um, the DNS servers by your internet service provider, it's going to use the one by Cloudflare, which are relatively much more faster. Um, and it reduces the time it will take uh, for the DNS or the domain name to be translated into IP address. The impact of this might vary. Uh, if the uh, DNS servers are really slow, then um, you'll notice a significant improvement uh, when you're uh, requesting for new web pages. Um, now, once we are done with that, uh, we can move on to the next step, which is to check for um, background usage on your phone. Um, so what you'll need to do, go, do is go into settings and then uh, go into data usage. And then you'll need to go through all the applications that you have installed, uh, if they're using uh, data services in the background or not. If they are, then maybe you can just select on them. Uh, let's say Amazon Alexa, and you can disable it um, once you have done let's say uh, disabled it um, it should no longer be using background data services and only requesting data when you're actively using it um, so that is done and um, there are a couple of other things that you can do as well so one thing um, that you can do is that a lot of people um, use 4G services and what actually happens is that in a major city um, since a lot of people are using 4G it reduces the bandwidth available to a single user so instead of using 4G you can actually move back to 3G and you might notice significant improvement in services so for that you'll need to go in settings and then uh, SIM cards and mobile networks and then you'll need to click on your SIM, mobile networks, uh, my bad, uh, go back. Uh, instead, you'll have to go in, oh yeah, so it, you clicked on the SIM card and then you click on prefer network type. So here you see prefer LTE, and instead of prefer LTE, you just like prefer 3G. Once you're done with that, you're good. And um, one more thing you can do is you can uh, disable voice over LTE on your phone. So this option is something um, you can try out and it, it actually works. Um, but the I, I think I would recommend it only if you primarily use your phone for data services. So what you'll need to do is when you go into your settings, um, SIM cards and mobile networks, uh, depending on what phone you have, you might have an option called as voice over LTE and it should show up here. And you can actually disable it. Now, I've run those tests before on my other phones um, and the results have been very significant where I'm getting more than one and a half times more speed on the Android phone that I'm using. Um, in case of the Xiaomi phones, um, if you have the latest operating system, maybe you'll not have that option as you guys can see. So what you'll need to do is go into your dollar app and you'll have to actually type in star hash star hash 86583 hash star hash star and that should disable the voice over LTE on your phone. In case you need to re-enable it, you'll need to type in hash star hash star 
Ash Star, and that should enable voice over LTE. You can definitely check this option out. Um, and one more thing that you can actually do, um, the results of that one would be arbitrary, um, but you can definitely try it out, is that use the uh, Data Saver app in settings uh, in your Google Chrome browser, and you need to enable it. So once you go into settings, uh, scroll down, and you'll see this Data Saver option, and just enable it. Um, and what it actually does is that whenever the data is going through Google Data Servers, it will actually simplify that data web page for your browser. So you're going to save a lot of space that way. Uh, the results can be significant. Uh, in my case, um, I actually reset my history. So it's not actually showing you much information right now. But feel free to share your results and let's see how that goes for you guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys find it useful.